Notion just had their big Make With Notion event where they announced a ton of new features and updates coming to Notion. Here's the six major updates that you need to know about. Number one, Notion Forms. You can now create Notion Forms and collect information which will save directly to your Notion database. And the best part, it's free with unlimited responses for everyone. To create a new form, you just type in slash form and select the form option. And then here you can add a title, you can add all of the questions that you want, and then you can preview the form, you can share it with others, and then all the responses that you're going to collect will be added inside of the second view. Next is new Notion layouts where you can pin properties, create a side panel and highlight key metrics. When you open up a database entry, you can click on the page menu in the top right and click on customize layout, which will open up this view where you can reorder your groups, you can highlight properties, you can pin them and you can add properties to your side panel. Notion Automations also just got an upgrade where you can trigger actions using dynamic data as well as send a Gmail directly from Notion. When you click on the database automations, you'll see a new interface and then for the triggers, you'll see two new options, one for sending Gmails and then one for defining variables. The next one is for Notion Creators. Notion's template gallery has evolved into a marketplace where you can sell your templates directly through Notion, receive payouts through Stripe and lock templates to prevent unauthorized transfers between workspaces. Number five, Notion Mail. This is a new Notion app, just like the Notion calendar that's coming early 2025, which will allow you to send and receive emails and customize your inbox using the familiar Notion interface and style. You'll be able to use your existing Notion knowledge base in combination with your emails and also filter and tag them to whatever you want. And the email builder will also function just like Notion where you can use the slash command to create prompts. And the last one, offline mode is coming to Notion in 2025. The most highly requested feature is finally on its way. And a quick bonus aesthetic update, if you go to emojis, then you'll see here at the bottom, everything has been categorized and you can also upload and create your own custom emoji. I'll leave a link in the description to the Notion Mail waitlist as well as the Make With Notion event. And if you want to see full tutorials on how to use each of these new updates, then be sure to give this video a like and let me know in the comments below, what do you think about these new updates and which one are you most excited for? Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.